Hi, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us. Um, my name is Sarah Malcolm. I am a yoga teacher and I'll be guiding you all through the flow, the movement today, which will be nice and soft. There's a little bit of kind of wiggling flow and then lots and lots of rest. We're going to start it with breathing. Um, so that should be wonderful. Basically, today is all about just letting the body digest. This is all in, in celebration of EFG's London uh, Jazz Festival, which today marks the end of it. So thank you all so much for joining it, for it. And we are so very blessed to have Maria, who will be creating the most incredible soundscapes and harp music, I'm not very musically termed, but um, for you all, which is just heaven. See it as kind of a sound bath vibe. And I'm just going to pass you over to Maria quickly <laughs> to say hello. Hello. Um, so yeah, just as Sarah said, thank you all so much for coming. I'm really excited for this class and yeah, I hope you all enjoy it. I'm just going to make, be making some very soft sounds for you to move too slowly. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else for me to say rather than like just enjoy yourself. This isn't about doing, it's just about kind of being and having the most wonderful Sunday afternoon together. So thank you so much for joining me. And let's get into it. We're going to start this. Oh, but as you can see, there's some photographers, lovely photographers, and there's some um, video going on. But yeah, you'll all kind of be background peeps, so don't worry too much. Um, just enjoy, pretend they're not there. Okay, so we're going to start this on our backs, please, everyone. We're going to settle the body with a little bit of breathing to just ground us. Let your, the soles of your feet come to the mat and let your knees bend so you've got this conscious rest. And then press your feet into the earth to lift your bum off the ground. Feel a tucking of your tailbone, a le lengthening through your lower back, and then let your bum re-land to the ground. So rather than this big lift, just a little lift to tuck your tailbone and let your bum come back down. So bums to the earth. If your bums are lifted, let them come down to the ground. Bums down to the ground. Yeah. And feel a heaviness of your head, of your shoulders, of the back body. and acknowledge the placement of your hands in this moment and just kind of notice if that's suiting your body, if that's suiting your energy. Can you let whatever your hands are doing be a conscious decision? So they might rest down the sides of the body, they might rest onto the belly or one hand on heart, one hand on belly. Whatever feels right for you in this moment. And letting your eyes eventually close down if you feel safe to do so. And we'll welcome ourselves into the space, into our bodies with three breaths together. So take a full inhale through the nose. Open your mouth and sigh the breath out, let it go. <sighs> take two more like that. Inhale fully through the nose. Sigh it out, hear the body land. <sighs> One more time, inhale through the nose. Open your mouth, feel the body land, let go. <sighs> and then let your breath just move very naturally in and out through the nose. Softening the muscles of the face, the muscles around the eyes, the jaw, separating the back teeth and letting your tongue rest in the base of your mouth. And can you feel this soft wash run through the body from the crown of your head all the way down to your feet? Nothing to hold on to. Just here receiving yourself and feeling this space, this comfort, this supported body. And as you arrive here, can you just start to take note of, of how you're showing up? 
and there's never any judgment to this. So how does the body feel as it lands in this space? Maybe there are some areas of effort or tension. Maybe there are some old injuries in the body. And rather than judging how the body feels on this physical level, can you just simply notice, be okay with that? Anchoring your awareness into the presence of your mind now. And what your mind is up to. What are the pace of your thoughts like? Are there a lot of thoughts wandering through the mind or maybe you're attaching, holding on to one thing in particular? And there's no right or wrong. Can we acknowledge that the judgments of the mind are simply that, judgments of the mind? And the true essence of us, the true self, resides behind that veil. Acknowledging if there are any emotions held in the body today, in this moment. Again, maybe there's one big thing you're feeling. Can you identify that? Maybe there is a concoction of emotions. And we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to, to be one thing, to feel happy, to feel content. But as human beings, we are so very lucky to feel this array of emotions. So just feel what you feel. Let that be enough. Allow your awareness now to shift onto the presence of your breath. Noticing where you're breathing into within the body. Maybe there's a lot of depth to the breath. Or maybe it feels quite shallow. Again, there's no judgment, just noticing. And in a few moments, we'll be moving into a pranayama practice of breathing technique called samaviti, translating to mean even breathing. And we'll do this by expanding the length of our inhale and exhale to shift us into our parasympathetic nervous system, our state of rest and digest. And just knowing that this breathing, yoga in general, is not a test. We don't have to achieve anything. We're simply moving into this awareness of subtlety within us. If this breathing practice feels unserving for your body today, notice you can just breathe as you are, that is enough. In a moment, we'll be moving the breath to inhale for a count of four, pause for one, exhale for four, and pause for one. And we'll do that four times. We'll then breathe in for six, pause for one. Breathe out for six, pause for one. And we'll do that four times. And then if it feels right within your body, we'll breathe in for eight, pause for two, breathe out for eight and pause for two. And we'll start now by taking a conscious breath in together through the nose. And a conscious breath out through the nose. And we start to slowly inhale through the nose for four, three, two, one. Pause the breath at the top. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Pause. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Pause. Exhale, four, Three, two, one, pause. Inhale, four, three, 
two, one, pause, exhale, four, three, two, one, pause, inhale, four, three, two, one, pause, exhale, four, three, two, one, pause, inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause, inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause, inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause, inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause, inhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause, pause, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause, pause, inhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause, pause, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause, pause, inhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause, pause, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause, pause, last round, inhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause, pause, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause, pause, take a full conscious breath in through the nose, and a conscious breath out, letting your breath return to its very natural rhythm of inhale and exhale, and as you bathe here in the afterglow of that breath, just simply again, Notice how you feel. Acknowledging if the mind wandered on that journey. And creating these stronger pathways back to yourself. Back to the present body. Back to the breath. And as we've been still for quite a while, let your awareness shift back into the physical form. Acknowledging that in this stillness, if any areas of the body have been calling to move, 
so in these next few moments, take your time. Let your arms eventually reach above your head. Send your legs out long and just find a lovely full body stretch. Yeah, and if you happen to meet someone's feet, just acknowledge their presence. Yeah, take a full breath in here. Exhale, draw your knees back in towards your chest and let your arms wrap around your shins as you give yourself a lovely squeeze in. Take a little sway here from side to side. Snuggle into the body. Notice how you feel physically. And then keep hold of your right knee. Keep hold of the right knee and just let the left foot come to the ground as you keep the bend in the left knee. Draw your right knee a little bit closer in towards your chest and then just stir a few circles round into the hip. Stirring it in one direction and then the other without forcing. And the slower we move in this way, the more we can really tune into how this feels, how we're processing it. Yeah, lovely everyone. Can you now start to take this right leg into a half happy baby? So bending to the right knee, your peace fingers of your right hand can either come around your right big toe, they might catch the edge of the foot, or maybe your right hand comes onto your ankle, your shin. Let your left hand come onto your left hip bone. Head and shoulders heavy, let the breath stay smooth, stay fluid. And you might just stay with this, or you might be inspired to move and just lengthen out through the right leg as you kick the foot away to you to the side and then re-bend the knee. And there's no right or wrong to this, just acknowledge how it feels. Left foot is on the earth unless the left leg feels nicer out long. Mm. Soften the jaw. Lovely, take one more breath in here. And then as you exhale with your left knee bended, sole of the left foot on the ground, take your right foot on top of your left thigh. And we come into a figure four, but pause here for a moment before you lift the left leg. Let your right hand come onto the flesh of your right thigh. Can you dig your heel of your hand in towards the thigh as you almost scoop the flesh up towards the knee? Feel some space in the right hip flexor. And then just take a sway here side to side so the left foot is on the ground. Feel that spaciousness in the lower back. Now you might be inspired to just stay here, to rest here. Or perhaps you interlace the hands behind the left thigh, drawing the legs in towards you, using your right elbow to press the right leg away. Can you keep your lower back flush to the ground? Exactly. And then you might reach your left foot to the ceiling, give it a little roll around through the ankle if that feels yummy. Mm -hmm. Stay slow with your actions. Really feel what's moving how you're receiving that. Take one more breath in. Full breath out. Let your right knee come in towards your chest as your left leg now comes long to the ground. Again, give it another snuggle in and then we'll take this into a twist across the body. So drawing the right leg all the way over towards the left side, your left hand can just grace on top of the right thigh as your right arm either reaches out long if there's space or you might bend the elbow, turn the head to the right. Now press your head into the ground to lift your shoulder blades off the earth a little bit and shimmy them to the left and then re-land them. Yeah, just let the breath move. Nothing to do, just breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Let this release as you guide the body back through center. Back through center, onto your back. The left foot can come back to the ground or keep it long as you reach your right foot up towards the ceiling. And you can catch behind your right thigh and you might just stay with this, almost planting the right hip back into the ground. You might roll through the right ankle, flex your toes, point your toes, scrunch your toes. Maybe you draw the toes a little bit further towards your head. There's really no forcing here. We're not trying to achieve anything, we're just simply moving into the body. Breathe in. As you exhale, can you unravel this? Release the right leg. Draw your left knee in towards the chest. Right foot is on the ground, so left knee snuggles in. And we take all of that into the other side. So stir around through the hip, drawing big circles here. One way and then the other. Yeah. And then take it into your half happy baby. Either your first two fingers on your left hand come to catch the big toe. Maybe you catch the outer edge of the foot. Maybe you catch the shin. Let the hip open. And just acknowledging that this side might not feel the same as the right. Be generous with your breath. 
You might stay in stillness. You might flex through the left foot, the left leg, finding a little bit of space behind the knee. Maybe finding that fluidity, bending, re-straightening. Yeah, no right or wrong, exactly. Take one more breath in here. And then as you exhale, bring it into that lovely figure four. So bending through the right knee, left foot comes on top of your right thigh, pause before you lift up into this. Left hand presses onto the flesh of your left thigh. Use the heel of your hand to dig in and then almost feel like you could stretch the skin up towards your knee, creating that space in the hip flexor. Take a little sway from side to side. Notice what your expression is doing. How can you soften it? Create this lovely space for yourself. And again, you can stay or interlace your hands behind the right thigh as you draw the legs in towards you using your left elbow to press away. Can you keep your lower back flush to the ground? Yeah, if you're inspired to move, do so. You might reach the right leg up, roll through the foot. Mm. Yeah, this is your body, your time. Breathe in. As you exhale, let this unravel. Lengthen your right leg long to the earth, draw your left knee in towards your chest. And we take that lovely twist again. Let the left leg come all the way across the body. Left arm, either long if there's space to lengthen or bend the elbow, cactus the arm. Gaze turns towards the left hand. Can you pick up again both shoulder blades? Press into the head, pick up the shoulder blades and shimmy them over towards the right and then relearn them. Mm, let your breath move into the body, clearing any kind of sensation of blockages here. Full inhale. Full exhale, unravel, come back onto your back. And then one more time to just reach the left foot up towards the ceiling. You can bend the right knee, plant the foot on the ground if that feels more supportive for this, or extend the right leg long. And maybe your hands just catch behind your thigh. You can roll the foot, scrunch the toes. Maybe they walk up the leg. Nothing forced. Notice where your breath goes. Keep that as a continuous, smooth, silky texture within the body. Inhale. And as you exhale now, release that. Draw both knees back in towards the chest. One more time to give yourself a lovely little squeeze. And then place your hands underneath your knees to the backs of your thighs. And this can be really subtle to start as we take a little rock and roll up and down the spine. Feel into this self-massage of the back body. Yeah. And as we start to move, you might feel like, oh, actually, I've got a little bit of energy, a little bit of vibrancy in the body. There might be a space to hover for a moment and then release. And when you feel like, oh, I've done enough rocking and rolling, Sarah, we can cross the legs and come into a tabletop. Yeah, take your time to get there. Hands and knees. And our hands will come underneath our shoulders. Knees will come underneath the hips. Toes are untucked, spread really wide into the hands. And just pause here for a moment. We've been on our backs for a while. So just feel this shift of energy as we come to this new space. Bathe back into the presence of your breath, smooth it out, slow it down. And then from that space of connection, we start to move into a cat cow. As you inhale, tailbone lifts, barely drops towards the ground. As your heart, your chest reaches forward, gaze slightly forward, neck stays long. And as you exhale, press the ground away through the hands, chin to chest as you puff up between the shoulder blades, tuck your tailbone. We move like that, inhale to lift the tailbone, belly drops, heart moves forward. Exhale to round that all the way through. Maybe your eyes are closed. Can you really feel the articulation of the spine here? Now you might just stay with that or on your next inhale, you do the same with the spine, but the weight comes into the legs a little more. You bring the weight back and as you exhale, you round through your cat pose and let the weight pour into the hands. So almost like a wave we start to take through the spine. The inhale lets the weight drop back, belly drops, heart lifts. Exhale bones this beautiful rounding through just feeling into the fluidity in our body. And if you're inspired again to move in any sort of other way, feel free. Maybe some circling through the wrists, through the hips. And our bodies are made up of more than 60% water. So can you feel this beautiful space, this beautiful fluidity, rather than keeping anything stagnant? 
We are so affected. The water in our bodies are so affected by music, by vibration. So let all of your energy be stirred around. Yeah, so nice, everyone. Eventually, guide yourself back through center. Hands come back underneath the shoulders if they've moved away. This time, tuck your toes, and we take this into a puppy pose. So fingertips walk to the top of the mat. Let your chest, your forehead get heavy. Bum shifts up towards the ceiling. And then can you keep your fingertips to the ground and just let your elbows, your forearms come off the ground. Breathe into the space underneath your armpits. Slow it down. Now you might just stay here, stay settled. This might be more than enough. Or as you inhale, we find a little ripple through the spine. So lifting through the belly, lifting the ribs, lifting the chest and your gaze, your head comes slightly forward as you lengthen forward. And on the exhale, you just surrender back down, head to the mat. And you might take a few like that. The inhale almost starts from your hips as you lift the belly, the ribs, the heart, gaze forward. And the exhale softens. Again, this wave through the spine. You might take one more. Inhale to ripple. Exhale to soften. This time, untuck your toes and just take yourself back into a child's pose. So bum to your heels. Head to the earth. Take a little sway here from side to side. Again, feel that water within you. Nothing stagnant. Energy moving. Prana moving. Life force. Breathe into the back body. Yeah. Take one more inhale here. Full exhale. And as you inhale, roll yourself back onto all fours, hands and knees. Nice, knees come underneath the hips if they've wiggled around. And then keep your hands planting into the ground. Can you start to lift your right leg, point your toes, bend the knee. Let the belly drop a little bit as you inhale, gaze slightly forward. And as you exhale, press the ground away through the hands, draw your right knee in towards your chest. And then stir your right knee out towards the side so the hip opens out towards the side like with dogs peeing. No better, no better way to describe it. And then let your right leg come all the way back so you stack the hips on top of one another. Really open through the right hip, chest slightly to the right, yeah. Take that twice more so right knee comes all the way in towards the chest. And then out towards the side as you feel that lovely big stirring opening through the hip. One more time. Right knee comes centrally, pressing the ground away through the hands, softness to the elbows. It comes all the way out wide and then big stack. Yes, there might be some stickiness there. And then draw the right knee back through center. Come onto the fingertips of your right hand and let your right foot replace your right hand as we reach the right arm up to the ceiling. Tuck your left toes, lift your left knee, and just give your left foot a little, a little swivel back. Easy twist. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, let your right hand come all the way back down to the ground. Let your left knee land and tuck your toes. Yeah. Fingertips to the earth. So the palms are now lifted, just the fingertips on the ground. Roll your shoulders. Let your pelvis get heavy as you inhale. Lift through the belly, lift through the heart, gaze forward. And as you exhale, thread your hips back. Flex your right toes towards your face. We move twice more like that. Feel the space, the fluidity. Inhale to ripple forward through the chest. Exhale to thread it back. Nothing is rushed. Yeah. One more time. Inhale to roll it forward. You might give yourself a little smile. Exhale to thread the hips all the way back. So lovely. Bring this forward one more time. Let the weight pour into the right foot. Hands come back underneath the shoulders. Tuck your left toes, lift your left knee, and we step the right foot all the way back into a downward facing dog. So spread wide into the hands. Let your weight rock onto your first finger knuckle and your thumb knuckle. And then take a little bit of a pedal out through the feet here. Feel the presence of the body, how you want to move, how movement is cooling to you. Bending one knee and the other one heel at a time to the ground. Maybe the body wants to wiggle side to side a little more. Maybe you want to lift a leg, reground a leg. Yeah, so nice. And then on your next inhale, can you rise onto your tiptoes, lift your heels, lift your hips slightly and start to ripple the spine forward into a high plank. So shoulders, so shoulders come over your wrists. And as you exhale, softly bend the knees, let them hover as you bring your weight all the way back into your feet, re-rise downward facing dog, taking that twice more. Inhale to ripple the body forward, high plank. 
Then as you exhale, hover the knees, press your weight all the way up and back. One more time, inhale to roll forward. Yeah, you've got it. If it feels weird, embrace it. <laughs> as you exhale, soften the knees, bum shifts up and back, downward facing dog. Pause here in your down dog now, take a full breath in together. Full breath out. As you inhale, roll yourself back forward as we come into a tabletop again. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. If you need to take a little wiggle around here, please feel free to do so. Yeah. And then we take this to the other side. So hands are on the earth, bending the left knee, starting to lift the left leg, point the toes, drop the belly, inhale, gaze forward. As you exhale, left knee in towards the chest, press the ground away and then stir the left knee out towards the side, again like with dogs peeing. Take that lovely big stacking opening of the hip, chest slightly towards the left, twice more like that. It's very tempting with this to, to rush through it, but can you really feel into the circumference of your hip? Yeah. One more time, or if you're slightly ahead of me or behind me, trust your breath, we're doing three. And then the next time the left knee comes in towards your chest, come onto the fingertips of your left hand. Can you replace your left hand with your left foot? Right hand stays where it is. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee, left arm rises, easy twist. Take a little wiggle back of the right foot, create space, breathe in, yeah. Exhale, let the left hand come back down. Right knee lands, untuck your toes. Fingertips to the earth. Feel this heaviness of the pelvis now. Roll your shoulders as you lift through the belly, through the heart, breathe in. Exhale, thread your hips back. Flex your left toes towards your face. And it's nothing forced, just this little surrender. Twice more like that, inhale. Roll it forward, lovely. Exhale to thread it all the way back. One more time, you might even close your eyes this time. Tune into how your body's moving, no one else's. Exhale, thread it back. Gorgeous. Let your weight rock forward one more time. Weight onto the left foot. Hands come to the earth. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee. Step yourself back, downward facing dog. Can you spread your hands really wide? Let your head get heavy. And you can bend your knees as generously as you wish here. Create that space in the spine, nice. Now as you inhale, come onto your tiptoes again. Find that ripple forward into high plank. Pause here. Shoulders are over the wrists. As you exhale, lower to your knees. Untuck your toes. Now nothing is clunky about this. We're lowering the body down, thighs, belly, chest. So elbows come in towards the side body. Thighs, belly, chest. Press into the tops of the feet so your kneecaps lift. Hands underneath the shoulders as you inhale. Lift your heart, rise to a little cobra. Elbows draw into the side body. As you exhale, release that back down, yeah. This time, take your hands out wider than your mat. Come onto your fingertips. Point your elbows to the ceiling. Keep pressing your toes into the ground. Inhale, roll the shoulders, rise back up, squeeze the glutes. This time, as you exhale, draw your right shoulder centrally on your mat. Let your gaze come over your left shoulder as you lower down a little. Inhale to re-rise. Keep squeezing the glutes, press into the tops of the feet. Exhale, left shoulder central. Gaze over the right, yeah, slow down the breath. Inhale to rise. This time as you exhale, almost feel like you could lengthen the body as you place it back down to the ground. Chest comes all the way down. Hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes, rise up through a tabletop and then lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Movement, if you want to move, is welcome. If you want to stay still and let the breath do all the work, that is also welcome. Take a full inhale together. And a full exhale. As you inhale, come onto your tiptoes, lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward. And as you exhale, take a slow, explorative walk. Meet your hands at the top of your mat. Can you really feel the texture of the ground underneath your feet? And we come to this lovely forward fold, Uttanasana. So feet are underneath the hips. Knees are as generously bent as you need to let your spine get heavy, head get heavy. And then take your hands to opposite elbows. Have a little enjoyment space with this rag doll as you sway from side to side from the hips. Go a little slower than you want to. What can you feel? Drawing the chin down towards the chest, create that space in the back of the neck, yeah. 
fingertips will come back down to the ground, hands back down to the ground. And then let your left hand just come slightly forward in front of the feet as if you're making a triangle with your left hand and your feet. Come onto the fingertips of your left hand, bend your left knee, draw your right hip back as you inhale, peel up through your right arm. Find this lovely big twist towards the right. So right arm is rising, yeah. As you exhale, release that, take it to the other side. Bending through the right knee, draw the left hip back a little bit as you inhale, peel up through the left arm, create space in the belly. Exhale, release, left hand comes down. Keep this spreading into the feet, keep a softness to the knees as we now roll up the spine bone by bone. And your head will be the very last thing that rises. And when it does, just take a few rolls with the shoulders. We stand here in Tadasana, as many rolls as you need to then find stillness, feet underneath the hips, palms shining forward down by the sides of the body. Close your eyes here for a moment and just take back in the presence of your body, the energy residing with, within you and the energy within the room in this space. Feel the vibration of the music traveling through the waters of your body. Take a full inhale and a full exhale. As you inhale, let your eyes reopen, press into the feet, come back into the space, reach your arms up and overhead, create this lovely space in the body. And as you exhale, hinge from your hips, fold forward, come all the way back down, Uttanasana, forward fold. As you inhale, place your hands either to your shins or your thighs to lift halfway. So draw in through the belly, press the crown of the head forward, Adha Uttanasana. As you exhale, fold back in, like this surrender sensation. Take that one more time. Inhale to ripple halfway. Exhale to fold, surrender, yes. Hands to the earth, step yourself back into your downward facing dog. And now you're very welcome to pause in this down dog to come to child's pose or, or if you're cool to move, as you inhale, you might find that flow rippling the body forward into your high plank. And as you exhale, knees to the earth, you come all the way down. This is optional, yeah. The inhale can lift you through cobra. And the exhale can take you back downward facing dog, if that feels serving for your body. Nice. Mulbrimi in Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, in your down dog, can you rise through your right leg? Find a three-legged dog, but let this be beautifully soft. So rather than just yanking the leg, there's smoothness to this. Bend the knee, draw your heel to your bum as you stack and open the hip. Take a full breath in here. And as you exhale, gaze forward, come onto the fingertips of your right hand. One more time to replace right hand with your right foot. Take that easy twist. Right arm reaches all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, right hand back down. Yeah. Land your left knee to the earth. And then pick up your left foot and can you kickstand your left foot round to the right side of your mat? Right side of your mat. Fingertips walk towards the left side of your mat. And then just find a little bit of space here, rocking the weight forward and back. And it can be really subtle. It doesn't have to be much at all. If you feel like you've got a little, little bit more space to move into, the hands can walk further towards you and you might let the weight come all the way back and all the way forward. Yeah, trust your own body. If things feel too much, if the breath suddenly shortens, how can you serve yourself best? Gorgeous, everyone. And then eventually come back through center with that. Just let the, the weight evenly distribute through the legs. Can you start to pad your hands round towards the back of your mat? So your left hand comes to the back and you start to straighten out through your right leg. Let your toes turn towards the left side of your mat. Right arm reaches up and overhead towards the back of the room. This supported, very supported side plank. So the left toes are untucked here. And then you can either stay and just breathe in this space little squeeze of the glutes to support, or you might start to draw a big circle around with your right arm, as if you have a paintbrush in your right hand, and you can really, again, explore the circumference of your shoulder. 
Maybe your eyes close, or maybe your gaze follows your fingertips. Steady the mind. Nice. Your breath is moving. The next time your right arm reaches up and overhead, stay there. You might lean back slightly, maybe squeeze the glutes a little more, breathe in. And as you exhale, let this gently unravel as you pad this all the way back round towards the top of the mat. Pivot your left foot back again. We come into this little low runner's lunge, so hands are framing the right foot. Tuck your left toes, lift your left knee. And then ground down the left foot. We're coming into a warrior two, it's soft. So left toes slightly turn towards the top of the mat. Windmill the arms up to rise, warrior two. The bend is in the right knee. If the feet need a right rearranging, you might lengthen them a little bit. You might shorten your stance. Soften your shoulders. Gaze is over your front middle finger. Breathe in. Full breath out. As you inhale, flip both palms. Straighten both legs as you reach your arms above your head. Create this space. And as you exhale, re-bend that, yeah. Twice more, your eyes might close. Inhale. Exhale to bend into it. One more time, inhale. Feel this wonderful lengthening through the body. And the exhale softens back in. Nice. Now slightly turn your left toes towards the back of the mat. I'm gonna take this into the left leg and come to a skandhasana at the back of your mat. So left knee bends and your hands come all the way down to the ground. Yeah, so your left leg is bending. Right toes are flexing towards you. So you're on the heel of the right foot, the right toes are flexing to the ceiling. Either your hands just stay on the ground and you can let this be lovely and passive and just drop your head here. Maybe your left hand comes a little wider, left arm, left inner leg connect. And as you inhale, you can peel up through the right arm. Find this blossoming through the chest. As you exhale, right hand comes back down, if it was lifted, yeah. Now this next part is a little sneaky. Can we be graceful and soft with it as we land our bums behind us? Yeah, and if that was a clunk, just embrace it. <laughs> well done, everyone. Drop your left knee towards the ground now. So left knee turns all the way into the ground, and then start to bend through your right knee. Let your right foot come towards your left knee. Shimmy that left foot a little bit further back, a little bit further out, and just arrange the body so you feel comfortable to let your chest come over the right leg. Yeah, so if you, need, if you need to lift your hips a little bit and reset, or do so. Fingertips come to the ground. Roll the shoulders as you press into the legs a little bit. Inhale, lift through the belly, lift through the heart. And as you exhale, we just find this slight bowing forward. And we come halfway, letting the chest come forward. Chin drops towards the chest, head gets heavy, and then we inhale, re-rise. Twice more like that. Inhale to lift the heart. Exhale to fold in. One more time to inhale, peel up. Exhale, soften over. Yeah, got it. Bring the body back up through center. And we reverse the way we came in. So bend through the left knee, sole of the left foot to the ground. Re-extend your right leg. And we shift back up, skandhasana. Nice, hands can definitely support that. Can you bring this all the way back round towards the top of the mat? Hands frame your right foot. Step yourself back into a downward facing dog. Again, same offerings apply. You can stay in your down dog. You can come to your child's pose, knees to the ground, or you can flow. Be guided by what your body is telling you to do rather than the mind and the ego. Lovely, everyone. Yeah, next stays long, long, long. Take a full breath in here. And a full breath out. On your inhale, rise through your left leg, three-legged dog. Bend the left knee, draw your heel to your bum as you stack and open the hip. Just create that space. One more breath in. Exhale, gaze forward. Come onto the fingertips of your left hand. Let your left foot replace your left hand. Easy twist, right hand stays on the ground, left arm lifts all the way up. And as you exhale, left hand comes down, as does the right knee. Nice. Pick up your right foot, swivel it to the left side of your mat. 
and pad yourself all the way down the long right side. Right hand comes to the earth. Oh, I, sh I, sh I missed a bit. Let's come back. <laughs> yeah. Whee. Fingertips to the ground. <laughs> Towards the top right corner of your mat. And let's just give this, again, a little bit of space. It might be subtle as we bring the weight forward and back. Maybe your hands walk a little bit further towards you and there's more space to move into. Again, this side might feel entirely different. So can you really just listen to the body? Nice. And then eventually come back through center. Feel the weight evenly distribute in the legs and then pad yourself all the way down. Right hand to the back of your mat. Left leg lengthens out long as your toes turn towards the right. Left arm reaches up and overhead. Feel the spaciousness down the left side of the body. Now you can, again, stay with this or start to draw these big circles round through the left arm, left hand. Imagining you've got a paintbrush on the end of your hand, you can choose the color, express yourself, yeah. The next time your left arm reaches up and overhead, stay there. You might squeeze the glutes a little more. You might lean back slightly, take one more breath in. As you exhale, release the left hand back down to the ground. We pat ourselves all the way back round. Shimmy the right leg back. Hands are framing your left foot as you tuck your right toes, lift your right knee. And then we take this into our warrior two. So ground down through the sole of the right foot. Arms windmill up and overhead. And just settle into this space. Again, arrange the feet. If they need to come closer, bring them closer. If they need to come further away, yeah. Toes are pointing towards the top of the mat, left toes. Soften the shoulders, gaze over your front middle finger. As you inhale, flip both palms. We start to straighten both legs as our arms reach up and overhead. And as you exhale, rebend into the left knee, arms extend out. Twice more like that. Inhale to rise. Exhale to soften. Yeah, gorgeous. One more time like that. Your eyes can close. Inhale, take it all in. Exhale to soften. Beautiful, stay here. Start to turn the right toes towards the back of the mat. Can we keep this slow, this transition, as we come down into Skandasana? The right knee bends, left toes towards the ceiling. Shimmy yourself in, so you're on the right leg, yes. Again, same offerings, fingertips can come to the ground. You can find this really lovely passive space, this folding, just feeling it. Maybe the right hand comes out wide and you peel up through your left arm as you inhale. And on your exhale, letting that float back down. Yeah. Now fingers, can, fingers and hands can definitely support this. Or maybe you just rock your weight back, gracefully place your bum down. Nice. <laughs> Draw your right knee towards the earth. Left knee bends, left foot comes towards your right knee. And then shimmy your right foot a little bit further back. And just arrange yourself once more to feel comfortable in this space. It's slightly sticky but so your belly, your chest can turn over, towards, turn over your left leg, fingertips to the ground, slight pressure into the legs. As you inhale, lift through the belly, through the ribs, through the heart, blossom through the chest. And as you exhale, for this drawing forward, this bowing over you. Twice more to inhale, peel up. Exhale to soften. Yeah, feel the movement of the spine. One more time, inhale. Exhale to let it go, release. Inhale to rise. Nice, and again, we come back out of this. So bending the right knee, right foot comes back to the earth. Left leg extends. Hands can support as you come back up, Skandasana. Patting yourself back round to the top of your mat. Hands frame your left foot. Step yourself back down, dog. Again, you're welcome to flow, to stay as you are, to come to child's pose. All are wonderful. There is no hierarchy to where you go. Doing one thing over another does not instantly make us a kinder human being, a better friend, a more compassionate lover. 
So let your body guide your choices. Yeah. Inhale, come onto your tiptoes, bend your knees, look forward. And as you exhale, again, can you just walk yourself towards the top of your mat? Inhale to lift halfway, hands to your shins or your thighs. Exhale, fold back in. We come to Malasana, so fingertips to the ground, heel toe your feet out as wide as your mat. Let your toes splay off as your bum comes down. Heels can be up or down, whatever serves you, whatever serves your body. Hands can either come into prayer at the heart, elbows into the inner thighs, inner thighs press back, slight tuck of your tailbone, lift through the heart. Or you might make this more fluid. Fingertips can come down, you find a little bit of movement here side to side. So whatever calls to you, both are lovely. Yeah. And then if you've had a little wiggle around and you would like to take all of that back into stillness, please do. We take a full inhale together. Full exhale, side out. One more breath in. And on your exhale, hands to the earth, hips high, forward fold. Heel toe your feet underneath your hips. Press down again through the feet. Feel that rooting connection as you roll up the spine, bone by bone. And this time, press into the feet, take your arms out wide as you inhale, reach them up and overhead, let your palms meet Urdhva Hastasan, and then draw all of that warmth down into your heart space. Close your eyes, thumbs connect to the chest. And just once more, just take note of standing, of being. And we're not called human doings. So rather than the need to do constantly, can we just feel into where we are right here, right now? Let that be enough. It's rare that we get to stand and soak it all up. So feel the presence of your energy behind your hands. Take a full inhale. Full exhale, let it go through the mouth. As you inhale, reopen your eyes. Let your arms reach up and overhead. Beautiful. As you exhale, hinge from your hips. Fold forward, soft surrender. Inhale to ripple the chest halfway. Crown of the head moves forward. And as you exhale, fold back in. Now either hands plant, step straight back to downward facing dog, or if you would like to flow, you are welcome to. and then we'll all meet in a child's pose. So knees either coming as wide as your mat or together. And really feel the ground underneath you. Notice all of the spaces that have contact with the earth. and soften them down into it. Let your breath move into your back body. Take a full inhale. Full exhale. Nice. And as you inhale, come back onto all fours. You can either come in from here, or if you'd like to come to down dog, lift a leg, you're welcome to. We're gonna come into a pigeon pose, starting with the right leg. So whatever suits your body best, if you'd like to come into it from a little bit more space. Right shin will come behind the wrists, and then stay on the ball of your left foot, and just give it a little wiggle back. Now, if pigeon is something that that isn't received well in your body, that's so fine. You can come back to that figure four on your back if that feels nicer. Then land your knee and tuck your toes. You've got that space in the front of the left hip flexor. And very simply, we're just going to slowly let the body come into this. So maybe we're staying here, hands to the ground, dropping chin to chest. Maybe we come onto the forearms. Or if there's space without force, we might come all the way down. And we're going to be here for a little while. So when you find a comfy space to be for a moment, take a full inhale through the nose. 
and a full exhale, feel this surrender to ground. Softening through the face, softening through the jaw. Noticing if there's anywhere in your body that is resisting this. Maybe the shoulders, maybe there's clenching in the hands. Maybe the mind is resisting this. Maybe you've told yourself stories that you couldn't simply unravel into this. Permission to not try so hard and simply to let yourself be. body starts speaking to you, what can you do to soften it, to let go? Take one more breath in, full breath out. As you inhale, take your time to re-rise, re-rise the head, the chest, Nothing's rushed. Let your forearms come to the ground here. Yeah. And you can definitely do this in the way that I'm not telling you to. <laughs> Otherwise, you can join me, tuck your toe, left toes, lift your left knee, and just sweep your right leg all the way back, and then let the knees come down, untuck the toes, and we bring ourselves all the way onto the front. You can make a little pillow with your hands here to just let the body rest on the front forehead to hands, or maybe the arms come down by the sides. And we're simply just letting this be received, feeling the echo of that movement in the body, the blood flow, any emotions that bubbled up. Another breath in. And a full breath out. And as you inhale, bringing yourself back up, however you'd like to come to that other side. So maybe you just come to all fours. You might lift the hips high to down dog. And then stepping the left foot forward in your own time. There's no rush. Staying on the ball of the right foot to swivel it back, create that space in the front of the right hip flexor, then land the knee and untuck the toes, yeah. Now this side might be a whole different experience. So come in with the same sense of quality to coming down. So hands to the earth and you might just stay here, see how that feels. Maybe forearms come down. Maybe the breath allows space to lower all the way. Again, you can come onto your backs for this if this doesn't quite suit your body. And if the mind starts to wander in these spaces, just call it back in. Re-notice your breath. Slow the breath down. Other areas you can ease into, let go into. And so much of our yoga practice in all, all aspects, all elements, 
that's creating these stronger pathways back to ourself, back to the beauty within us, the inner landscape of our body. We are so much more than the mind. closer towards the body so you can rise the head, the chest. And then once again, we'll come all the way down onto our bellies. If you'd like to come onto your forearms and tuck your right toes, lift your right knee, sweep your left leg back and come down that way, you're welcome to. If there's any other way that feels more serving, definitely take that. Maybe again, you make a pillow with your head, sorry, with your hands for your head. And if you're taking that, whatever hand you had on top before, just place the opposite hand on. Maybe the arms are down by the sides of the body. Head rests. And this time, just take a very soft sway with your hips here. Just feel a little release of the lower back. Yeah, slowly. And then pause. Take one more breath in. One more breath out. And with ease to this, we're gonna rise ourselves all the way up when you feel ready to do so. And just come to kneeling at the back of your mat. So knees together, sit your bum to your heels, resting your palms either on your thighs, palms down, or maybe the backs of your hands to your thighs, palms up, closing your eyes and just taking in your energy within you. And freedom to the self, take a full breath in. And a full breath out. And then nothing wild. Just let your hands come down to the ground. You can reopen your eyes. And just shift your bum to one side, feet to the other. And we're gonna come into a lovely forward fold with a bit of widening in the hips. So into a star pose. Soles of the feet will come together and knees will come out wide. Now, rather than this being here in your butterfly, find a little bit of lengthening. So you've got this lovely big diamond shape in the legs. And then if you, if you have some space to kind of roll into it, please feel free. Otherwise, we're just gonna drape forward, dropping the chin towards the chest, closing the eyes, feeling what we feel, letting that be enough. Breath can move into the back body. Take one more inhale here. And a full exhale. Inhale to peel the body back up, rising the head, the chest, the heart. And letting your hands come to the outer edges of your thighs to close your knees together. And then just shimmy the body forward and we're gonna peel ourselves all the way down onto our backs. So make sure you have some space behind you to roll down. Feel this connection, lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulders and head. And when your head and shoulders do meet the earth, just pause here, resist the urge to fidget, to move. Feel the presence of the body onto the ground. And then notice within yourself what might need to move a little more. And it might not be anything. But you might feel called cool to find a little twist here, maybe a happy baby, full happy baby this time, maybe a bridge pose anything that your body needs in order for it to rest in a quiet space. And then again, it might not be anything. And 
And then when you do feel ready to rest, our final and most important posture of all, to bathe in the essence of the body and the vibration of the sound, and to lie down into our Shavasana. Legs down long, arms down by the sides of the body. Closing your eyes and taking the fullest, biggest inhale you've taken so far today. Full breath in. A big sigh of release as you let that go. <sighs> and nothing to do, nothing to manage. Just letting the body rest in this space knowing you have everything you need to unravel, to soften. So enjoy, I'll be here to bring you back.
Let your awareness rest on the presence of your breath. And feeling back into the sensations of your body. Feeling back into the beating of your heart. Any vibrations or ripples of energy within you. Letting your awareness drop back into the presence of your body on a physical level. Feeling the ground underneath you. And very, very softly letting movement return back to the fingertips and toes. Stirring the ankles, the wrists. Maybe letting your head turn from side to side as you feel into movement in the spine. You might reach your arms above your head for a stretch. And gathering your knees in towards your chest and letting your body rest on your right hand side in embryo pose. A pose that signifies reawakening or rebirth. And as we lie on our right hand side, we let the breath move naturally in through the left nostril. Moving the energy of the breath in through the left nostril into our Ida Nadi, our feminine channels, our state of rest, of yin energy. When you feel ready to rise, letting your left hand press into the ground and peeling yourself up to a comfortable cross-legged seat in Sukhasana. Keeping your eyes closed if you can. Letting your hands meet one another in front of the heart. Feeling the texture of your skin, the warmth of your touch. Let your thumbs connect to your chest. Let your breath move. And once more, just acknowledging how you feel. Feeling the afterglow of the physical movement, the emotional movement. Feeling the afterglow of music in the body. And together here as the shared community, shared energy, take a full breath in through the nose. Big sigh through the mouth. One more like that, full breath in, feel one another. Sigh it out, let go. Bow your chin to your chest, your head to your hands, your heart. Thanking yourself for showing up, for moving the body with love and kindness and compassion. And we bow to that divine space within us and within each other. Acknowledging that we are so much more deeply connected to each other and to the world around us than we realize. Namaste everyone. Thank you so much. back to the space when you're ready. Thank you everyone so, so very much. Thank you, Maria. Big clap to you all, Maria. So, so beautiful.